I was running the streets as a young teenager, and I skated here, he gave me a job. I've been working here since high school. Jesse is kind of like a fatherly figure. What are you gonna do, ask to keep it? He used to come here and skate with friends and family. It was a big part of a lot of people that work here is life. He's big in the community. Coming out of high school, I got an opportunity to be the general manager of the skating rink. I managed to work my way up behind the counter. I took over the operation in 1998, and I got to know a large amount of the community that way. With rolling profits from the skating rink, Jesse opened up the Wheelhouse Bar in 2004. When we first opened up the bar, it was booming. We instantly opened up, you know, making 25,000. It jumped to 40,000 a month, and it jumped, it peaked out at 60,000 a month. We had a decade of that. I mean, I could barely walk around a waitress tables because so many people. You can't hang! But Jesse couldn't keep the training wheels on his employees for long. It's almost like living at a home with a lot of brothers and sisters, but we have a spectrum of all personalities by all means. And now his unruly staff is spinning out of control. I'm the bitch because I'm the only one that says anything. Stephanie, she's a firecracker. I wanted to go in there and strangle that kid. Like, calm it down a little bit. I'm pissed. Policies aren't being adhered to, and each and every one of them are at fault to that. Jesse is more of a friend than a boss. He does want people drinking behind the bar. He just wants the cursing, the swearing to come to a stop. You're totally off. That goes in one ear and out the other. And then Jesse's gonna act like nothing's going on. That's what pisses me off. And guess what? He's hiding in the office like a little bitch. Jesse's a pushover, and we just do whatever the we want. This is not going to help you keep it Jesse's already struggling business fell further behind when bigger corporations moved into the area. Some of the more corporate chains moved into the community. Um, bigger budgets, nicer, modern, new. People don't come to the bar because it's outdated. It's a hole. Customers became less and less frequent, and I was getting behind and paying credit card tips. I personally had a problem with getting paid. There was a time for a whole year that I wasn't getting my tip checks. They have approximately $165,000 in debt that I've incurred, and I had to deplete 90% of my retirement as well. If the bar closes, the skating rink closes, I know that a lot of families are going to be hurt. Now that Jesse is barely skating by, he's decided to pull back the doors, bust open the books, and make a call for help to bar rescue. But more than that, it's my attachment to the community and to the, those folks that work for me. Hi, this is John Taffer. Be sure to subscribe to Spike's YouTube channel where you can watch more Bar Rescue videos.